Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video we will make this knight jump around the chessboard. After that we will animate this huge pencil so that it follows the scribble line. And finally we will create these happy bouncing triangle. And all of this in PowerPoint. So let's go. And before we get started, I want to say a huge thanks to Envato Elements for sponsoring today's video and supporting OneSkill channel. With Envato Elements you can get unlimited downloads of millions of creative assets. Here you can find everything that you need for your next creative project. Video templates, audio, photos, fonts, graphics and of course presentation templates, PowerPoint, Keynote and Google Slides. And what's awesome is that you can create a free Envato Elements account and get 12 free files every month. And if you would like to choose one of their paid plans, you will find a 70% discount link for the first month in the video description. So thank you Envato Elements for being awesome and now let's continue with the video. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so here is a nice PowerPoint template that I found on Envato Elements. It's called Firebird Creative Template. It's creative, it's colorful, so let me just download it to my computer and let's look inside what amazing things we can create with it. So here it is, the Firebird PowerPoint template and now let's scroll down and let's find those beautiful shapes that we can animate. So here is the chest knight. Alright, here are the pencils, that's beautiful, and here are the triangles. And now if we would start the slideshow, as you can see, we don't have any animations yet, we just have these beautiful slides, and I will show you how we can bring these slides to life by adding those animations. So let's make sure that this knight is grouped, alright, that's awesome. And now we can open up the animation pane so that we can see all of the animations. All right, let me just adjust this panel. That's awesome. And now let's just uh, resize this knight. Let's make it smaller a little bit. You can always hold down the shift key to keep it uh, uh, proportionate. Let's place it somewhat there. And if you have played a chess, you know how the knight moves. So this is one of the possible moves and we will create this animation. So make sure you have selected your knight. Let's go to Path Animations and let's choose Draw Curve. So let's click once to start drawing the curve, click twice to make a turn and click for the third time to end drawing the curve. So this is our curve and let's preview it. As you can see we're getting a little bit of glitch because as you can see the animation starts from the center but not from the position where the knight is. So let me show once again. As you can see the animation starts from the center. So let me show you how we can fix that so that the animation is smooth. So let's delete this animation for now and let's uh, zoom out a little bit because now we will be inserting a huge circle. So let's just go to insert shapes and choose a circle. You can hold down the shift key to get a perfect circle. Just make sure it's really huge and it covers the night. So we can remove the fill from the circle. We don't need any fill. Let's just add a little bit of outline. Let's make it blue and let's add some weight, for example, eight points. Super duper awesome. And now let's just move this circle to the middle and the center of the slide. All right, let's move our knight to the center as well. And let's just activate slide guides so that we can see where's the center. And now just position your knight where you would like its center to be, for example, like this. All right. And now let's select our knight, hold down the shift key, select uh, the circle. And now let's just group them together into one group. And now if we would uh, rotate this group, as you can see, the knight has a new point of center. And that's uh, really awesome. That's all we need to make our animation smooth. So let's position this knight back to its uh, starting square. And now we can uh, hide the slide guides. We don't need them anymore. And let's get back to animations, path animations, and let's draw this curve once again. So click once to start, click a second time to make a turn, and double click to end the path. 
And now let's give it a preview. And as you can see now, the knight is moving perfectly because now it has the new point of center. So that's uh, really important. And now we can actually hide the outline. We don't need it anymore. So let's just give it no outline. So we still have this circle, but it's transparent. And now as you can see, the knight moves perfectly. All right, so now we can just play a little bit with the timings and with the repetition of this animation. All right, so let's just go to animations and uh, let's make sure it starts uh, with previous, which means it starts automatically. Let's give it a smooth start, smooth end, and let's make sure it auto reverses. And for the repeating, let's set it to until the end of slide. So now the animation starts automatically. It comes back and it repeats until the end of slide. So this is a nice animation to draw the attention of your audience. Right, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, the other animation that we can add to this night is grow animation. So that uh, when the night comes closer, it grows. And when it comes back, it shrinks. So let's just add grow shrink animation. Let's set it to with previous. Smooth start, smooth end, auto reverse. And for the percentage, let's insert 170%. All right, and for the repetition, once again, until the end of slide. All right, and let's see what kind of result do we get as the night comes closer, it grows, and when it comes back, it shrinks. That's awesome. So you can always adjust the percentage of growth, and as well, you can adjust the path itself. So just uh, right click on the path, and let's choose edit points and you can edit the points of the path. So let's say you would like this point to be somewhere around here. You can as well adjust the curve with these uh, white handles. And I think it's looking good. So let's give it a preview once again. And our night is moving just fine. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So now let's move to this uh, huge pencil. So let's just zoom out a little bit. Now, as you can see, the pencil and the scribble are connected into one group. So let's ungroup them. So let's just uh, right click and choose ungroup. Now hold down the shift key, select the scribble. So we deselect it. And now let's group the pencil again. And now the pencil and the scribble are two separate objects. And that is what we need. Alright, and once again, we will have to create a new point of center for our pencil so that the animation works fine. So once again, let's just go to insert shapes. Let's choose a circle, hold down the shift key to make it perfect circle. Once again, let's remove the fill. Let's add, add some uh, beautiful outline with a weight of eight points. Looking beautiful. For now, let's just add it. Let's align it to the center. Activate the slide guys and let's move the tip of our pencil to the center of the slide as well. Just like that. Let me just bring it to front so that no elements, you know, are obstructing the view. So here it is, the tip of the pencil inside the center of the slide. Now let's just group it together with a circle. Group, all right. And now if we would rotate this group, as you can see, this pencil nicely rotates around its tip. So that's awesome. That's what we need. So now let's just bring this uh, pencil back to its uh, starting position. Let's hide the outline of the circle. We don't need it. All right, just like that. So let's deselect the slide guides. Uh, let's make sure that we select the whole group. All right. And now in the animations, let's go to path animations. And once again, let's draw a curve. So click once to start, click twice to make a turn, click for the third time to make a turn and double click to end the path. All right, let's give it a preview. And as you can see, our pencil nicely follows the scribble. So let's make it smooth start, smooth end, auto reverse. Let's make it start with previous and repeat until the end of slide. All 
All right, let's play it on the full screen. And this is how the animation looks like. So the pencil follows the scribble up and down. That's awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so now that we are done with the second animation, let's go to these triangles. So first of all, we have to group them because as you can see, they are made out of two separate shapes. So let's just select our triangles and let's just group them. You can use the shortcut keyboard keys, Ctrl G or Command G to group and use the shift key to deselect anything that you don't want. All right, so we should have four grouped uh, triangles. And now let's select the first one. Let's go to animations, path animations, and let's choose this one called line. Let's choose up, direction up. All right, let's make sure it starts with previous. Duration one second. Smooth start, smooth end, auto reverse, and let's make it repeat until the end of slide. And you can adjust this red bubble and uh, tell PowerPoint how high <laughs> this uh, triangle should go. I think it looks good. All right, and now let's add a second animation, grow shrink animation. Let's make it start with previous again. Duration uh, one second. And for the percentage, let's choose 50%. And let's make sure it's uh, vertical. So we will be trying to achieve this uh, squishing down effect. Smooth start, smooth end, auto reverse, and repeat until the end of slide. Let's give it a preview. As you can see, the triangle jumps up and then it squishes down. So let's give it a full screen preview. Goes up, squishes down, goes up, and then squishes down. So this is just a fun little animation that you can use to make your slide a little bit more lively. And now let's just use the animation painter and paste the same animation to the rest of the triangles. That's how easy it is. And now we can just move all of these triangles a little bit uh, downwards so that they have more space to jump around. Beautiful. So these are the funny bouncing triangles. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so now you know how you can make a chess knight jump around the chessboard, how to make a huge pen follow a scribble line, and how to create these funny looking bouncing triangle animations. So thank you for watching, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you on my next video.